Hey guys, this is Mark. Uh, right now I'm going to do a follow-up video uh, for the Arcos performance. Uh, the first video I did, the Arcos device was running 2.1. Uh, let me just turn it on now. Right now it's running uh, Android 2.2. And uh, let's just take a look at it and see what's different about the device. Uh, if you saw my first video, you can tell right off the back that my wallpaper and widgets are different now. I opted for bigger icons, uh, bigger widgets. I wanted this to feel more like a tablet than a phone. Whereas before, with all of the... Uh, the apps thrown up on here, everything was really small and it just felt like an oversized phone. The way I have it now, uh, to me it feels more like a, a tablet. Uh, as you see, uh, the brightness uh, is really, really oversized. The sync, uh, this is your phone tethering, uh, Bluetooth, and Wi-Fi. Uh, the standard buttons are, are less than half the size of this. Uh, I have the Engadget widget here and a uh, semi clock. On the left, uh, or the right rather, I have Facebook still uh, like before, but this time I have it actually uh, full screen where there's no room for any other apps. And here, Engadget is still here as well as the calendar, which is uh, very useful for me. And I have them pretty much filling up the entire screen as well. And the only space for apps I have is at the very bottom here. Uh, and this is all I really need. Uh, there's five here. If I swipe to the left, I have another five. Swipe to the left, I have another five. So I have quick access to 15 different apps. And to be uh, quite honest, uh, I'm not going to go to any more than, than those 15 unless I occasionally want to get to a different game or a different uh, uh Forms such as XDA because I don't have XDA down there, but uh, for the most part, I use these 15 the most. Uh, and also, right now, this is uh, not the Arco stock launcher, this is uh, Launcher Pro. And as you see, if I press home, it stays within Launcher Pro, it doesn't go to, uh, to the Arco stock launcher. Uh, so the first thing I'm going to tell you is uh, when Arcos did the update to Froyo 2.2, they uh, lowered the processor to 800 megahertz. So the first thing I did is uh, downloaded Z4 root so I can get the device up to uh, back up to uh, 100 megahertz. And uh, as you can see, super users there and I have set CPU. Uh, says CPU has it clocked back to 1000 megahertz uh, with a minimum of 800 now this will eat up your battery uh, if you look now I'm at 52 percent I started using the device at 11 p.m. it's now 12 a.m. and I'm still at 52 percent so I mean for most people this may last two days uh, at this point it's probably still lasting me two days I mean my night is over with uh, after I do this video, I, I won't use much more of the device. Uh, let me just go to profiles because I do have it uh, slowing down the processor at times. Uh, as you see, I have two profiles. One is screen off. The other is charging full. Uh, when the screen is off, the minimum is 300 megahertz. Whenever I turn my screen off, it's because I'm uh, listening to music. I don't need the processor to be really fast at that point. And when it's charging as well... Uh, the only thing I have this playing is the clock for my alarm. So I set that to 300 uh, megahertz as well. Let's go home. And the screen is a little dark. Uh, let's try to brighten it. Yeah. That may be a bit too much. Yeah, I'm getting glare now. It's really hard to see everything. And that's even worse. So uh, let's put it down really low again. And as far as the features are concerned, uh, let's see. It's definitely a lot more snappy. When I first got this thing, I was disappointed. You really are going to have to clock it back up to uh, 800 megahertz to get full use. Uh, 1 gigahertz to get full use out of the device. And uh, let's go to the browser. Uh, uh, 
I'm gonna show flash. Right now, this is at my Facebook page, and I'll go to a uh, website here, uh, Anime Forty Four. Yeah, I was there earlier, and we'll see how uh, Flash looks. Uh, now, before we get started, I'll tell you right away, uh, the current version of Flash running is not optimized for the Arcos. Uh, uh, I chose this particular uh, video because uh, it's going to be a lot of action. Uh, if you see it moving right now, uh, it doesn't look bad. You would think that is not a problem. And that's because this is in heavy action. Whenever you watch something that's still and uh, basically their mouths are moving, then it's going to play smooth. Regardless of if it's heavy action or not, the audio uh, doesn't break up. Uh, but we want to see how it flickers and uh, stutters. So uh, this is going to start really soon. And it immediately starts with action. So let me turn the volume up now. Hopefully the video doesn't get taken down by YouTube for this, but hey, trying to give you guys a good review here. And uh, you can notice the flickering. And uh, let me just try to make it full screen. Let's see how that app works. Oh, I messed that up. Uh, pressed the wrong button. Uh, I just wanted to show that at full screen. Uh, oh, there we go. Came back. Good. There we go. If I can hit this little button right. There we go. It should go full screen now. It doesn't seem to uh, affect the speed. Really. And this is a full screen flash video right now. So, as you see, it's not terrible. Uh, it's not the same as uh, what you would get on a, on a laptop. But uh, it's not terrible either, especially for something that's not optimized for uh, this particular device. So, uh, I can stop this video now. Uh, and... Uh, Now, what I just showed you now was the uh, the most important feature uh, for the majority of users. 
uh, for the upgrade to Android 2.2, and that was what Apple doesn't have, which is a uh, flash video. Uh, there's honestly nothing else that that really has changed with this upgrade. Everything is more optimized, so it runs faster. Uh, I mean, you guys can see a, midi, a million uh, videos with games, uh, but you know, I haven't done one, so uh, I'll just load up Angry Birds really quick. And uh, if you notice, I haven't killed anything, and that's because uh, with Android 2.2, you don't have to kill any tasks. Uh, this is gonna manage everything for you. Although I don't like killing tasks, <laughs> as you guys know, sometimes you know, occasionally you may have to. Yeah, uh, let's see. Yeah, stay zoned in. No, that's working fine. Right now I'm in landscape mode. And, uh, you know, that's about it. Oh, I can do the YouTube app. And you know what? Uh, yeah, let me do this. If you uh, saw a video, I believe it was on Engadget. Uh, they were showing this particular device. Uh, and one thing that, uh, one negative that a person had was that... Uh, the screen rotation in YouTube uh, was inferior to uh, the iPad. So uh, let's check out the screen rotation after uh, our update to uh, Android uh, 2.2. Hey guys, this is Mark. I'm just going to do a quick video showing. So this is landscape, portrait, landscape, portrait, fast, flawless. Uh, it didn't do that in their uh, video with Android 2.1. You actually could only go uh, portrait uh, or landscape, and that was it. You couldn't do a full 360. Like as you can do now, uh, and then there's really nothing else to show here. Uh, everything is the same. My last video, I didn't show the uh, gallery, but uh, if you don't have this device yet, uh, you have a lot of screen real estate here. Uh, you can show off pictures of friends, uh, family. Uh, let's see, picture of my daughter. It does take a little while to load, unfortunately. Uh, you see it spinning up there. Yeah, it'll give you, a, I guess, an optimized picture, which is what we have now. And your pinch to, ju pinch to zoom is very good. And you, know, you flip through all of your pictures. Let's see. There's another one of... Uh, my wife doing a little bit of yard work here and uh, yeah, that's about it so uh, with the update to Android 2.2 uh, we got flash uh, we got uh, great uh, memory optimization meaning uh, you should never have to use this task killer at all and I honestly don't use it uh, I may have did it once or twice just to see the difference in flash if I kill uh, all of my apps and it's you know I didn't notice any change at all so I would have to assume the available memory has no bearing on flash uh, but you may need to kill certain apps uh, if they're not acting properly uh, you kill it, restart it, and, you know, it's working fine again. I'm not going to kill anything. I'll let it be. And, uh, that's it. All right, guys.